Christmas shopping for toys isn't much different than this old train running in circles. After a while, it just starts looking the same. Still, every year, some toys capture the hearts of the kids while attacking the pocketbooks of their parents. This year, dolls and plastic figures are stepping in the forefront. Dolls that talk, mess, and wet. Figures that shoot, bend, and look like the latest movie. The Hook figures, Robin Hood figures coming from movies, Marvel comic book figures, um, the X-Men figures, those are from comic books. So they're all action figures that come from different categories. And we have more action figures this year than we ever have had in the past. New inventions dot the store shelves like Color Blaster, a toy airbrush set that's threatening to sell out. While some of the toy manufacturers try to come up with the latest thing, others fall back on the old standards, like a Rector set. After a couple of years off, they're flying back into the scene. Electronics are still selling hot, whether remote-controlled cars or the latest in video games. But the biggest seller, or at least the hardest to find this season, doesn't need a battery and doesn't have a plug. It's the latest from Parker Brothers, the Nerf bow and arrow. It's just like your regular bow and arrow set, but it won't hurt a person if they get hit with it. The factory ran out of them. Uh, they didn't think it was going to be this big of an item, so they uh, just didn't produce uh, enough of them. We sold 24 in an hour on Thursday, and then again on Sunday we had 18 in and sold them out in the same amount of time. People are walking into the back room before we can even unload our truck looking for them. So it's been really difficult for the, the toy stores, all of them, because everybody seems to be out right now. Bob Hansen, News 8.